What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Man, 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 man. Cassidy. Anyways, man, let me y'all y'all get to the, um see why I'm laughing and why this thing got me feeling like wow, this is what I just witnessed. This is what I just I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm gonna start off by saying a quick disclaimer by this event was beautiful, it was great, it brought battle rap back to its forefront, but the main event was not the best event of the night at all. And y'all, if y'all a real battle rap fan, y'all know that mostly goes like that all the time. You always hearing either about a PG nigga having the greatest battle in there or, you know, an underdog or, or whatever. But this battle was not the best. But nevertheless, it gave us somewhat of our money's work. But let me get, get to what I got to talk about, man. First of all, um, Goods and Cassidy's round one. Cassidy went first. I felt like Cassidy was getting gassed a little bit because of namesake. Because some of the bars he was saying, I know if he was in New York, it wouldn't hit like that. I'm, I'm just keeping it a stack. I know if this was all the way in Irvin Plaza or or something like that, it wouldn't stick and you wouldn't feel that. Mm, for like When y'all watch the battle, you'll def, most def see what I'm talking about. You'll know I ain't just um, tooting my own horns about you know what I'm saying about Cassidy. Because I talked about that in my prediction blogs and I did say that. Cassidy has a name that can pull him to the forefront because everybody said he was going to body back goods. But I said that if he's going to try to be the Cassidy from old time's sake, I, I can't really dig with that. Like, it's not going to work because this unique, different style of format of battle rap, it it's not like what the old heads, when they were young heads, what they're used to. So you got to understand the momentum could propel Cassidy to a, to a win only based on name stakes and industry rights i.e. him used to be in an industry rapper, but it can also hurt him. But when you've seen this battle, he was rapping in cadence in the first round. You was waiting to see more. Maybe because I'm deep in battle rap and the, and the things I want from ba battle rap is significantly different from that. I, I didn't really stick to no points like that. I kind of just drifted away on and off. Not that I wasn't listening, but the, the feeling of Oh, I, w I want my energy to be here for Cassidy, but the fans did their part because they kind of rooted him to the success, meaning success, not that he won or lost the first round, but success and performing well. They were with him, but you can see where they were dying off a little bit, and I was like, oh, man, if Cassidy don't, you know, give some combos, some not a haymaker necessarily, but jab a little bit more, bro, and I feel like if he don't give us that, they, they might start booing him. All right, now it's Good's part. Goods just come in there with the swagger. Like I said in my prediction blog, we don't want to see this brand new Goods when he battled Tay Rock and all this and that. No, we want that old school Goods from 2009 to 2011. Nah, scratch that. We want that Goods. What I said in the prediction blog, I know exactly what I said. I said we need that Goods versus Conceited. You know, Witty had the swag. The bars were there. They were not the best, but they were good enough to get you by with all the other elements he had in his arsenals inside his bag of all Art of battle rapping. You dig what I'm saying? And he brought that energy because when he came in, first, when Cassidy was rapping, I was, even though I didn't really feel his bars like that, I was like, damn, he might take this match based on everybody, what they were saying and saying that he might, you know, like, because everybody was rooting for Cassidy through the um, bloggers and everybody in the comment sections and even the fans in the first round for Cassidy was. Before they settled down, it was a big phenomenal boom. And I was like, damn, they're gazing, not whack bars, but they're gazing bars that ain't really like that. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, oh, man, he's going to get gazed all through the night and take it. But Goods handled his own in the first round. You know how Goods is. Talk to, went straight to the personals, but he did it solidly as a gentleman, but in the most savage way, kind of like Hannibal Lecter. You know, Hannibal Lecter don't scream, he don't yell, but he gets straight to the point. And that's what Goods did. Goods was giving you them, them haymakers. After a few jabs, then another haymaker. He said some facts in that talked about how Cassidy ain't adapted to the new brand style of, you know, this URL or whatever. He's like, we don't want to hear that 2006 shit. Like, that's what he literally said. And and this was hitting close to home for dudes like me who know this history inside, you know, battle rap, the new format and the old days. And even before the DVDs, well, with the DVDs and the, when 2006 YouTube and all that got started. So we know all the deep, deep rooted essence of battle rap. So you felt that because he was telling the truth. And I felt like 
Cassidy, probably because of the gas that he had in the first round, it made him feel like it could lift him in the second. But I give the first round to Goods. Um, yeah, Goods, good. I'm not going to say easy, but you can clearly see Goods won the first round. That's what I'm going to say. But based on the fans rooting and support for Cassidy, I can see how some people might say Cassidy took the first. So I, I have opening ears to people saying that Cassidy won the first based on the eruption of the war roar from the fans. But second round comes along. Remember what I told you guys earlier? Cassidy needs to change up. I don't understand what Cassidy is doing. Cassidy didn't switch up. Cassidy kept that same cadence as if he was doing a diss bar. It sounded like a diss music, a diss track or something like that. And I, was, I don't mean to laugh, man. It did, man. It sounded like not that it's outdated. Because the things you were saying was part of what new battle rap is. But it sounded like, you know, like a machine rapping, like a robot. Like, nigga, let your voice go. Be free. Like, that's why I feel like a lot of these industry dudes, they get in this field. They can't really be on go on that green light. It's like they, they're reading from a book or something like that. And it's good to memorize your lyrics, but you got to give it to us in the sense that we don't want to know you literally wrote it down, even though we know you wrote it down. Y'all dig what I mean? But let me just jump to it. They started booing the hell out of Cassidy. They booed this, man. They booed this nigga out. <laughs> they booed this nigga out to the point. Cassidy did the Tay Rock thing. Drinking the water, drinking the water. And I'm like, oh, this nigga dying. Let me get a drink of water. Like, he, like my thing is, he tried to prevail. <laughs> it was kind of sad. He tried to be like a professional about it. Like, you know how most dudes be like, oh, man, they booing this nigga. Nah, Cassidy tried to stick with it and keep going through it, but he couldn't cut through it. Like, you can hear the slickness. You can hear dudes talking about... um just, just, just like sa savage type things towards Cassidy, man. After all that booing, you know, automatically it's going to be a win for Goods. Goods came out swinging. He did his thing. It was right the, like how it was supposed to be. But to be real with you, if Cassidy didn't do so bad, he didn't bomb so bad, I feel like Goods with the things he was talking about wouldn't really hit so much. But because we came through them booing Cassidy, it's like everybody became a fan of Goods and just propelled him to a win because Goods came in his bag again. He was witty with the jokes. He had his savage moments. And you can hear people in the crowd talking about, man, talk about the tranny. Talk about the tranny. Like, you can hear that and you knew it was going to come up. And they brought that in this battle because the third round comes along. Pretty much, it's 2-0 right now. So, Goods won it already. He, he got the second easily. I'm not even making this up. So, Goods already took that. And that was on the uh, uh, automatic dub for the um, second round for Goods anyways. You could have, Goods could have said one word and he would have automatically automatically win based on how bad Cassidy performed. Maybe not, I don't want to say how bad he performed, but how bad the fans, like I keep telling y'all, don't matter how great your bars is, if the fans ain't rocking with y'all, it don't matter what people say later when they play the video on the internet or whatever, they might put this one in a... <laughs> Smacking them, they better release this joint quick, man. Get the views that you can get. Cause word through the grapevine is gonna spread like hot fire. And I feel like, man, drop this midnight, bro. Midnight, drop this on your channel or whatever. Get all the views you can get right now. Edit it away so on Sunday you can drop a classic one, even though it's not really a classic. Cause out of nowhere, this dude just come through. And bombs. The fans wasn't rocking with Cassidy. The third went to Goods as well, man. I can go deep, but it's like the second round leaves a bad taste in your mouth. That what's the point of giving an analyst of the third round when you can clearly see Goods got an easy win in the first because of how bad the fans hated Cassidy. That alone gave the sour taste of the event the whole night. All the other battles were phenomenal. I'll, I'll promote and stamp my name and co-sign this battle anytime. I'll put my brand on the line and tell y'all this is a great event. It's a great battle. But just like I said in the prediction, y'all getting... I was hyped for the event. I'm not going to lie, but I did do a disclaimer as far as y'all got to remember, this is battle rap, man. Like when these big names come in and it's the main headline, it, the fans are not going to really be in it the way they supposed to be. And I warned y'all, go to my prediction blog that I just dropped um, a day ago and you can see where I talk about if these two are going to battle, you should have it in the beginning of the um, event. Or maybe in the third. I understand is the 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 match of the night, but stop trying to treat this like boxing. Although it has the same, almost the same style format of boxing. At the end of the day, it's not. You boxers are they can be at the event for a certain amount of time, but we know that pay per view growth and what they generate in is not compared to what a battle rapper does. Meaning that 
they can have all these undercards without worrying about the main event. People are going to get tired or whatever. In fact, in some cases, some of the undercards don't even have the audience there because the audience are waiting for the main event. So in a battle rap, you can't do that because people are already paying to come in the venues. It's not like they're going to just step out and leave when certain undercards are going on. It don't work like that. So a nigga been standing in line for a hop hours or something like that and then coming in the venue where you're still waiting for the first um, match to start and then all through all these matches you're still tired so with all the smoke going on all the drinking going on I mean you and your vibe and it's to the point let's be real it's probably pretty chicks in there too because a, a lot of girls represent for battle rap so you probably seen a new joint you don't even know and you meet her up with her you know a lot of people are visiting from everywhere you got your hotel room you might just be out of it and just your mind might be somewhere else because a lot a lot of people in there probably their first time in New York and it's the weekend. They might they might want to go, you know, sightseeing in Manhattan because I lived in New York already. If you're trying to get your hustle on, ain't no way you're not supposed to make money if you live in New York. Y'all know what I mean, but we ain't going to say too much here. We ain't even talking about nothing illegal here. You pe you supposed to get your hustle on if you live in New York, but that's what I'm saying. You got first timers in New York for this event. Not in New York. I apologize for that. I'm gone. I'm talking about in Georgia. A lot of these people ain't never been to Georgia before. And I lived in um, Georgia before Columbus, Georgia, Fort Benning, Georgia. My bad. I, I'm zoot right now. I've been smoking. But anyways, let me carry on. But a lot of them is their first time in Georgia. They ain't never been there. So they want to go to the clubs in Georgia. They, you know, it's a new hip hop spot from 2001 all the way to now. Georgia, Atlanta, all that. Atlanta is the brand new certain like a Mecca now. Y'all know it is. So people probably already trying to see nightlife. Probably go to Magic City or something. See some strippers get loose. They ain't really trying to see all that this and that, so I knew people was going to be out of it, now you got a situation where they booed the hell out of this man, they booed him, they booed this man's soul out the room to the point, his soul met up with Rich Dollars until, <laughs> his soul met up with Rich Dollars until Rich Dollars, what the hell happened man, <laughs> come on man, <laughs> you going to tell me this life, this what the people been waiting for, I felt like man, come on bro, your bars probably was good, but you were, you needed to be more constructive into being yourself, being free, bro. You were more into it like a machine, dog. It sounded like a diss track. And when niggas go see a battle, a rap battle, we want to see the emotions, the um, the not physically fighting each other, but it's like we want to feel like y'all fighting. And you gave like a subpar of a, a energy, like like it was a machine, bro. There was no real essence in you. All that hype, all that. But you know what? Salute to Cassidy for getting involved. I will give him props. Salute for him for promoting, doing a great job. I don't think y'all understand. Y'all should seen the pay per view amount of people who actually um bought the pay per views. Man, them dudes made a cool million but y'all don't have to believe it with the people paying in the venues from the sponsors and i guarantee you they pass a million but we all know irs uncle sam get they cut so if you get the percentage of irs out of it we'll say six hundred and forty thousand. you know because they get a big chunk but anyway they, they made a nice amount i don't mean to count anybody pockets but i'm trying to say how great the event went. You know, both parties promoted the hell out the event. That's what you battle rappers need to do more. And a lot of you battle rappers need to feel ashamed. Cassidy, although he had an underwhelming <laughs> battle, but that's not here or there. The art of promoting, just like a WWE match, the Royal Rumble. Like, it's really the promotions of these events that are more hype and better and give us our money worth than the actual event itself. Just like when a club promoter, he hypes this. You know, the night can go bad, but the niggas still made their money or whatever that's what it's really about and the culture wins too because you still have a good night because whatever if he bombed or not nobody can say they didn't have a great night i enjoyed my night man like this i didn't go nowhere i was supposed to go out with the fam today but they love battle rap too they stayed here you know they supported the battle rap um culture as well so it's fun to have your daughter rooting for some of them your wife knows a lot of these battle rappers already so that's the essence of battle rap itself bringing new people into this new genre and trying to actually grow it so I, i'm not, i i don't have anything negative to say about the cassidy battle um when you look at 
everything that has played into it, how they magnified battle rap to the point that people are not even talking about the elephant in the room, which is the pedophiling crap that's going on in battle rap. But that's neither here nor there right now. I don't want to put sour grapes in a great night. I have to give kudos to Cassidy and Goods for being a hell of a promoter. You battle rappers need to learn and feel bad. Like a lot of you battle rappers do not promote at all. You don't open a YouTube channel. This is my fifth YouTube channel. Like, there's no way, like, I don't have a name <clears throat> that you niggas have. You niggas have a brand already, but you're lazy. If I was in y'all position situations, I'll be 30 times bigger than what I am. Probably way more than that if my name could have been floating around the world the way your names are and you guys don't even promote yourself. Stop being cocky all the time. This is the art of marketing, the era of marketing that we're living in now. Like Warren Buffett said to everybody, we're living in the times of the internet, meaning that, you know, now you have a dash fears of an atmosphere where everybody is becoming self-entrepreneurs through this YouTube factor or whether it's anything else in social media because there's countless amount of things other than YouTube, which I'll be telling you guys in another blog to give um, advice on that, show you guys how to properly invest. Then you'll know how I get little money here and there because you have to have nest eggs if you have a family. You can't just rely on one source of income. So these battle rappers have to stop getting comfortable. This thing that we call battle rap will never stop, but the compensation of it could stop at any given time. We know this. Hip hop is forever, but the money itself is not. Go ask a lot of these rappers. Go ask Charles Hamilton. Rest in peace to his career, but... I remember he had that song, Ain't Nothing Like a Brooklyn Girl. But that, that dude was the art of freestyling out off the top to the point what his friends did to him and what society treated him like, he fell off. So these battle rappers don't want to go to the space of that. Yes, you should be happy and there's nothing against getting your money and maximizing your compensation for your art because I feel like the people who create don't get enough credit. People who are creators, we need more people like that in this world. Too many people living inside that box. Too many people are more controlled than actually living in an atmosphere where we can give life back with one another. I'm just, I'm amazed at life right now. And I feel like you guys should look at this battle and look at the success part of it. Stop looking for negatives of it. There was a lot of people in battle rap today that I've seen that hasn't been in battle rap in a while, especially the likes of me. I haven't made real blog. I've been doing blogs countless for the last four days. So it tells me, you know, you get the contagious feeling. It's a nice little virus that spreads, which is good for battle rap. So we don't need anything negative right now as far as people talking about um, you can talk about how bad Cassidy did, but don't say that the event was ruined because he bombed. We were not surprised. Real battle rap fans were not surprised. Go to my prediction blog. I clearly say this, but I didn't say it in a, like a hard, hard way that was coming at him. It's just how battle rap is, man. Go ask Cannabis. Um, cannabis damn near couldn't even read it even with the help of a notepad he couldn't even do what he was supposed to do Cassidy really supposed to lose a disaster but I feel like because the situation happened during their first battle when it got cancelled then they did the second one I think disaster already was out of it and to me disaster fell the culture because you were supposed to destroy them then so I gotta shake Good's hand and say thank you Goods. you did one for the culture like real fans like me is not against Cassidy we just want to see people who are consistent in this culture do what they're supposed to do which he did one love to everybody man have a blessed blessed day man love your family love your kids stay blessed like share and subscribe i'll be doing more blogs like this and i don't have a problem i'll continue to be doing blogs now on battle rap pertaining to certain topics and not something that everybody and their mom is talking about because it's not after i'm only doing this because this is a great event for battle rap other than that man y'all love y'all family love y'all kids stay blessed everybody